Did Leighton Meester date from the cast of Gossip Girl? Who married an OC star? And who dated Zoe Kravitz? Hi, I'm Clive, and you're watching Asa. Get yourself comfortable and get ready to find out how the lives of the actors of Gossip Girl have changed, for better or worse, since it ended. Serena Vanderwoodson. Can you believe it's been almost 10 years since Serena Vanderwoodson and Dan Humphrey first fell in love on screen? And Gossip Girl stars Blake Lively and Penn Badgley started their real-life off-screen romance at the same time. The couple dated for three years until 2010 when they broke up, each of the actors only 23 at the time. In an interview with Vanity Fair a couple of years later, Blake revealed that they had to keep their affair a secret at first as they were afraid the romance could get them into trouble at work. I remember there was one point where we were just afraid of how our personal lives overlapping our work life could be perceived by our bosses, Lively said. But then we were like, oh no, that's exactly what they want. They wanted us all to date. They wanted us all to wear the same clothes that we're wearing on the show. They wanted that because then it fed their whole narrative. People could buy into this world. And eventually, that worked. Blake added, At the time, I was wearing the same clothes and doing fashion shoots and dating the same person that my character was dating. The crew didn't know that the two had called it quits for months. The shocking thing was, I found out on the set of the season 2 finale that Blake and Penn had broken up months before, said the co-producer of the show, Joshua Safran. Blake Lively didn't waste any time after the show ended. Not only is she married to Ryan Reynolds and has two baby girls with him, her acting career is heating up too. Blake and Ryan celebrated their sixth wedding anniversary on September 9. I had to explain to my daughter what an anniversary is, the actress recently told Good Morning America. She's like, what is it? Does it mean you're having another baby today? And I was like, dear God, no, it doesn't. It means it's our wedding's birthday. To mark six years since saying, I do, the stars had a quiet celebration at home. Blake's name constantly pops up in the news, and her countless hilarious photos on Instagram make us laugh along with her. Blake, like her character Serena, is definitely in the spotlight. Blair Waldorf during the show, Leighton Meester's character Blair spent a lot of time around on-screen villain Carter Bazin, portrayed by the Romanian-American Sebastian Stan. And a friend of the star revealed that it was Leighton who chose to dump her co-star and real-life boyfriend of the time, the very same Sebastian Stan. Stan was apparently really heartbroken about the split, but sources say that the actors are still friends even after the painful breakup. Not long ago, Leighton even admitted that Stan played an important part in her music career. Everything that I've gone through in my life has influenced my music, and it's been both good and bad experiences with love, said the actress. Nowadays, Meester is married to an actor from another era-defining show, star of the OC Adam Brody, a match made in heaven that's made so many millennials' dreams come true. The two are raising a young daughter together. When talking about her life with Brody, Leighton said, I think we're a pretty modern couple. I think we sort of toggle back and forth. We both work, but also being actors, I think we understand each other, what we're both going through. Leighton and her husband even acted together in the 2014 indie film Life Partners. Chuck Bass There must have been something in the air on the set of Gossip Girl. Jessica Zor and Ed Westwick were yet another real-life couple to come out of the CW show. They began dating more than a year ago after getting to know each other as friends. But Jessica and Ed broke up after a two-year relationship, shocking fans and leaving them to speculate what really happened between the pair. Page Six claimed that Westwick dumped co-star Zor after hearing rumors she was cozying up with one of his best friends. Of course, it's impossible to gauge the veracity of these rumors. They're still just hearsay. Or should I say, gossip? Ed Westwick has played some of TV's most iconic characters in Snatch and White Gold. However, the actor has no interest in starring in a reboot of the show. It feels like we only just finished, he told the Radio Times, and I haven't done enough in between yet to feel like I could comfortably revisit it. And I did so much with that character. It's played out, man. It's done. More seriously, Westwick was caught up in a major scandal recently regarding the hashtag MeToo movement and Ed's personal life. Westwick has always maintained his innocence. I have never forced myself in any manner on any woman, he said in an Instagram post after the initial accusation. Ed's then-girlfriend, model Jessica Serfati, publicly supported the actor, sharing his picture on Instagram and writing, after everything, justice was served. Despite Serfati's public declaration of support, their love life didn't have a fairy tale ending. At the end of 2018, Ed and Jessica split. The pair are said to still be in love, but are taking time apart to work on themselves and their careers. Nate Archibald while Nate Archibald often swung big on the show, his real-life alter ego, Chase Crawford, has a far more controlled personality. Chase gained a lot of attention due to his hot Instagram photos and film shoots. 
It took a while for Crawford's career to pick up steam following his turn as the hapless Nate, but his fortunes turned, and since the show, he has successfully starred in baseball film Undrafted and scored a leading role in the primetime TV soap opera Blood and Oil. It was on the set of Blood and Oil where Chase met his most recent girlfriend, Rebecca Rittenhouse. However, according to Us Weekly, the couple have quietly split up after three years of dating. The actor implied that he was back on the market while discussing his relationship status in an interview with the tabloid. I've been dating around a little bit, but, you know, nothing serious, he told Hollywood Life on April 29th. Dan Humphrey Penn Badgley found critical success as singer Jeff Buckley in the film Greetings from Tim Buckley. Following a period as quiet as when Dan was around Serena in the early days of GG, Badgley has picked up work again in the film Cymbeline. Penn also had a bit of a bohemian turn and chose instead to focus on his music career as the lead singer for Mother, while dating fellow actress and singer Zoe Kravitz. These days, Penn is the star of Netflix thriller You and is now married to musician and professional doula Domino Kirk. Badgley and Kirk got married in 2017 after three years of dating and lived together in the Clinton Hill area of Brooklyn with Kirk's son from a previous relationship, Cassius. The couple were romantically linked since their relationship started in 2014, but they managed to keep the details of the early days of their romance a secret. Both actors admit that they weren't very serious at the start of their relationship. Domino said she was never keen to date an actor, having grown up alongside sisters Jemima and Lola, both of whom are actresses. I was like, ugh, actors. And then I married an actor, she told WWD. Kirk said the decision to get married was a bit spur of the moment for the couple, catching his bride-to-be completely by surprise. The pair actually got married twice. The first time was in February 2017 in an intimate ceremony in Brooklyn, where Kirk and Badgley officially exchanged vows in front of a small handful of friends and family. The couple then celebrated in June 2017 with another, more public event, a bigger reception in upstate New York attended by celebrity guests. Vanessa Abrams Vanessa doesn't change for other people. She says what she thinks. She's just a badass girl from Brooklyn. That's how Jessica Zor described her character, and we cannot agree more. Jessica has booked a string of roles on the big screen since the show ended, returning to TV in 2015's Complications and Kingdom. Zor also plays a recurring role on Shameless. Who else here is a fan of this show? Be sure to catch our video about the real-life partners of Shameless, too. Jessica recently shared the identity of a man she is dating with her fans. She took to Instagram stories to share a snap of her embracing a man. Zora has been very keen on keeping her boyfriend's identity a secret from the press, but her fans were able to connect the dots and figure out who the mystery man was. Zora tagged her boyfriend's handle at brichardson15 and included a heart, hockey stick, and smiley face emoji in her post. She also captioned it, when your man gets four goals, NBD. Following the clues, super sleuth fans uncovered that Jessica is currently dating Arizona Coyotes center Brad Richardson. Details from NHL.com also helped to confirm the details of their relationship when it reported on Richardson being the first Coyotes player to score four goals in a single game since 1997. An exclusive source told Access that Richardson is indeed Zor's special man. The lovebirds reportedly met through mutual friends, and the source confirmed that the couple have been dating for months. Gossip Girl Well, how can we not mention the actor who, for many years, was the voice of the Gossip Girl herself? Kristen Bell had a successful career pre-GG as teen detective Veronica Mars, and has had a big-time film and TV career with hits like Heroes, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, House of Lies, and Frozen. And Bell is certainly in the spotlight these days with her starring role as Eleanor Shellstrup in NBC's The Good Place. Kristen is happily married and raising two wonderful kids with husband Dax Shepard. If you follow the pair on social media, you might think that Kristen and Dax seem like they'd be likely to win couple of the century. But even after 12 years together, Belle and Shepard are humble enough that their relationship was far from plain sailing. As Shepard himself told People, We definitely had to work really hard at being a couple because we're both incredibly, painfully stubborn, and we're pretty much opposites. The two chanced upon each other at a dinner party in 2007 and met again at a hockey game several weeks later. The sparks were flying, said Dax, and those sparks lit the smoldering passion of their romance. However, while the couple were kindling the flames of love, Shepard poured cold water on their relationship. Shepard broke up with Belle after a few months, scared of the commitment and convinced that he still wanted to play the field. It took just a few days for Shepard to realize the error of his ways, reuniting with Kristen after coming to his senses. I was like, that's the best personality I've ever seen on a woman. I need to be around it, recalled Shepard. I want to be around it when I'm 80, 
but how? Thanks for watching. Check out these other great stories from ASA and subscribe for new videos about your favorite stars.